what's going on north node and scorpio this is a reading for the north node and scorpio it's your girl d here with eight house energy i hope all is well for, with you guys i want to thank you so much for checking out the channel make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell check out the community tab lots of uh, goodies out there or information all right we're gonna see what's going on with the north node for scorpio you know we got the uh collectively the south node is in your uh north node right which is really interesting definitely a lot of transformative energy going on okay uh the north node energy is the energy that in this life you were you came into this life to master <clears throat> so you came in this life to master the scorpionic energy right um and in your past life or in your childhood you mastered the taurus energy so the taurus energy was the energy of of uh, <clears throat> it's like an energy of peace calm collective mellowed out comfortable okay security of all sorts financial emotional okay um stability <clears throat> and you're supposed to in this life since you've had that decent uh life in this life what you're supposed to do is experience change so things in your past life where your childhood may have been very consistent very comfortable there wasn't much that went on where you had to go through any transformative energy or you know deal with anything where you had to tap into that scorpionic energy <clears throat> everything was pretty much like even keeled like level well with the scorpio energy um there's always going to be change right so one thing i tell people in reference to if you want to master your scorpio energy you need to first find out where those placements are that you have scorpio and where your eighth house is too right because some people don't have scorpio only people who have scorpio in the eighth house are aries ascendants or aries sun everybody else has scorpio in one house and then the eighth house is someplace else so you want to master those energies you just want to understand that there's going to be constant change and when you sense the change coming because things are not going in your way you know it's going against what you're currently doing that means you're supposed to look at what's going on assess it and take the initiative to make the change the universe is just basically going to put you in situations where you're uncomfortable until you get up out of it long story short this is how you master your scorpio energy all right take it from somebody who got a lot of scorpio placements so of course easier said than done but if you understand that concept then the scorpio energy when it comes into your life or when it's time for change it won't be so toxic for some of you the reason it's so toxic is because you sit in that energy and things are changing the universe is telling you to change but you refuse to do it it's like you're sitting in the opposite polarity of the uh scorpionic energy you're sitting in that comfortability of the taurus energy also keep in mind with the north node south node energy so north node can be challenging just like the south node can be um positive right a lot of people will say oh your south node energy that's negative energy is only negative when you sit in that energy and you don't use the lessons that you've learned to ascend to or move towards the energies that you have not mastered which is your north node now your north node can be dangerous as well because these are energies you are not that familiar with you have not mastered them so there could be some trial and tribulation that come about and you're going to have to try to recognize these energies and do something about it. So this is what the whole North Node, South Node readings are about. is to recognize when there's re reasons why there's certain things that happen in your life. And in certain areas of your life. Like if you look at your chart, where's your North Node and Scorpio at? Like what area of life is it? Is, is it in your fourth house? Then there's always going to be change and, and challenge in the area of your family life. Uh, change and challenge in the area of where you live right so you may be somebody who has to move a lot or depending on what planet um rules that uh house if there's a planet in there at all you want to look at the energies of that planet natally as well as you know when the transits come about what planet is in there now right so that type of thing so right now in the north house i'm sorry in the south house of scorpio which is your uh north node there are no planets in there yet okay but the opposite polarity of it plays an effect on it too the planets are in the opposite polarity so right now uranus is uh in taurus which is the opposite polarity right and the south node of course the north node is there now uranus is going to go in retrograde in a couple of days so we're already feeling those energies but i'll do a separate reading on that so make sure you watch that okay but let's get into the north node scorpio south node uh taurus energy overall energy is the six of cups this is scorpionic energy okay so this is all about transforming out of um scenarios that may have um been with you since childhood 
because when you're talking about coming out of or going into like the north node energy of scorpio we're talking about basically you have to be your own psychologist is what it is you have to figure out okay what's wrong why am i feeling this energy why is shit not right in this area? Why is there always a problem? Okay, well, first of all, look at your chart. Is there Scorpio there? Okay, then there's going to be a problem there regularly. <laughs> so you want to just get into the energy of, okay, there's always going to be change in my life. What can I do to um, help get through this change as, as, as quickly as possible as, or as seamlessly as possible? Well, look at what planets are aspecting your, um, your Scorpio placement. Look at what houses are aspecting it. Look at what placements are aspecting it, the positive aspects. Um, as far as the um, the conjunctions and the sextiles, right, and any trines, um, and then also look at you know um, what could be hurting it, like a quindecil, um, or a which is like a hundred and sixty five degree, you know, um, placement, um, or it could be an opposition, which is opposite one hundred eighty degrees, or it could be your ninety degree, which is agitating it. The ninety degree is not always ne none of these are always negative or positive. It just depends on the relationships between the planets and a square doesn't always have to be negative <clears throat> it could be a stepping stone um or it could be a, a blundering block right it's just it's how you look at it if you take the lesson out of it but there's always going to be a lesson so look at the planets around it and and try to use them to help you and that's how you kind of tackle that scorpionic energy but just know you're going to have to change you're going to have to change out of what you were in right so we have the wheel of fortune major arcana of um sagittarius then we have the king of swords then we have the eight the king of wands in reverse seven of wands in reverse major arcana of the tower mars energy mars okay so this could be uh there is going to be an aftermath or there's going to be an energy that you are going to be able to avoid a really catastrophic energy so this could be a situation where you could avoid some catastrophic problems, okay? And you definitely want to do that. So things are turning in your... There's there's a cycle going on here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiterian energy, all right? So with Jupiter, you want to look at the glass half full. You want to be optimistic about things. You want to see what um, options you have and if the risks are worth the rewards. And if they are, make sure that the risk is calculated if you're going to take it, Right? But the challenge here is the King of Swords is Aquarius energy. So the challenge is moving forward in some way, shape, or form, right? And doing it in a manner in which is um, <clears throat> it won't come off as rebellious. It won't come off as too cold or too, too isolated or too um, indifferent to whatever else is going on, right? So your guys want you to keep in mind the King of Wands energy in reverse. So this is all about you not being afraid. Like, don't be afraid, right or you could be dealing with energies that are um aggressive but they're aggressive behind the scenes this is somebody who's not going to be aggressive to your face but they're going to be on some bullshit behind your back right a coward type of energy right this is somebody who you'll have your back turn and they'll stab you in it instead of when you're facing them pulling out the knife you know what i'm saying that's that king of wand in reverse type of energy so you're gonna have to be careful of that that's if that's somebody external to you if this is internal this is you being afraid Okay, it's like the King of Wands in reverse reminds me of the, you know, the Wizard of Oz, the lion without a heart. So, you know, this could be um, an energy and I'm not calling anybody a coward, but it's a cowardice energy as in you're afraid. Right. There's got to be a reason. What the guides want you to focus on is the Seven of Wands energy in reverse is to let go of if this is internal to you, you know, the excuses as to what's keeping you from really going for what it is that you want. If this is external to you, then um you may want to come out of the environment that you're in. You know, don't be in opposition with these people, places, and things. Come away from it. You know, if there's too much opposition coming from you, coming to you at different angles, then let it go. You know what I'm saying? That way you'll avoid a disaster, right? Or what could have happened is this could have already happened, and now you have, you have an aftermath to clean up. All right, but let's get some clarity and see what's going on. But before we do that, let's take a look at this top five cards. Six of Cups, Major Arcana of the Sun, Leo Energy, Seven of Pen um, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords in Reverse, Hermit Energy in Reverse. All right.
childlike energy, childish, immature, very immature energy is what I'm getting here. Somebody is trying to be patient with someone, but I feel like with this Three of Swords in reverse and the Hermit energy in reverse, it's like, this is like a repeat thing. It's like you, you get over it, but then you go back into this. Um, it's like you're over the going back and forth. Like the Hermit energy in reverse is an energy of, like this is somebody who seeks to understand, seeks enlightenment with the light there, right? But in reverse, this is somebody who's not seeking enlightenment. So you could be with somebody who's not trying to change. Okay, or if this is internal within you, it's time for you to grow up. It's like, this is childish energy. It's like, when the fuck is it going to stop? <laughs> right? If this is internal with you, when are you going to mature? When are you going to understand that you're going to have to let go of some things that, you know, may have hurt you in your childhood? So for a lot of you, it could be childhood issues, childhood wounds that you're going to have to let go of. Um, and with this hermit energy in reverse, this is all about um, not making it a priority, like, I feel like for some of you, that's a priority. This pain you're carrying around, you're carrying around as a priority. And so with the North Node collectively in Taurus, what you're supposed to be doing is letting go of the turmoil that you've experienced, right? And move towards a comfortable, more, a more, comfortable, more peaceful life. So if that's the case, you're going to have to stop going back to people, places, and things that continue to hurt you. For some of you, it's going back into, you know, things that you were dealing with since a child. It could have been childhood friends. Um, it could just be maybe there's some issues going on um, with you and your mom or you and your dad with the sun energy here. It could be you and your mom, you and your dad. All right. And maybe, you know, um, you're expecting them to behave a certain way towards you and they're just showing it to you that that's never going to happen. So it's time for you to let go of that and get over that. This could be about siblings as well. Okay, maybe you're waiting for your siblings to grow up and be be mature and let bygones be bygones. Or maybe they're considering coming towards you, letting bygones be bygones. And you're sitting here like, hmm, I'm not really sure. Because, you, you, you know, every time I get over it, I regret it, right? I regret making that decision. Right? I let it go and then the shit happens again because this is energy of the, the hermit energy in reverse is, you know, uh, the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. So for some of you, you're just like, yo, you're realizing that. You're sitting here like, wait a minute. I, you know, this is what's been going on for a minute. I don't know if you hear that thunder and lightning out there, but this is what's been going on. This is what's been going on since I was a kid. Right? I finally understand it now. It's like I'm shedding light on this situation. I get it now. Like some of you get it with Leo season because this is all about tapping into the inner child anyway and healing childhood wounds. So for from some of you Scorpios, that's what you're doing. Whether you realize it or not, it's time for you to heal. So that Scorpio energy is you coming out of that toxic energy, right? But let's see. Let's get some clarity here. Let's talk about this uh, Wheel of Fortune. So what's this cycle? Tell me about this cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. This is fixed energy here. This is something that's been going on for a long time. It's time to change this energy up. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to take the first card that fell. Yeah, see, look at the six of coin in reverse. All right. So this is all about um, the, the, the cycle continues about the imbalance here. So I feel like this is not going to change is what I'm getting here. Right, you've been going through cycles of imbalance with these people or, or this situation for a long time. This is something that happened to you as a kid. Um, let me make sure I have the right cards on top here. There we go. Now, let's take a look at the King of Swords. So, you with the King of Swords energy, you're trying to detach from it. This is what this is the challenge is you detaching from it emotionally and moving on. You know, this could also be an energy of you rebelling against, like, if this is family. Uh, family environment you could be rebelling against the family dynamics here Scorpio North Node okay we have to clarify look at the six of cups came out in reverse so we got the six of cups in reverse the six of coin in reverse this is definitely karmic past life energy uh, especially if this is between you and your siblings and something that ha or and or something that happened to you in your childhood years okay King of Wands energy in reverse Maybe you didn't stand your ground. Maybe that's what this was in the past with the King of Wands in reverse and the uh, Hermit energy in reverse. Maybe you never stood your ground. Yeah, here's the Queen of Swords energy in reverse and cut this shit out. You didn't stand your ground and you're angry and frustrated or this is the energy you're dealing with. You're dealing with a very jealous, vindictive, cowardice type of energy who's angry, 
with the Queen of Swords energy. So this is either how they've made you feel and the energy that's built up inside of you that you need to let go of. Or this is the energy you're dealing with and you need to cut it off. Take me, tell, tell me about this Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse clarified with the Three of Coins. So this is <clears throat> this is Mars and Capricorn taking action to put restraint in place, taking action to put uh, order in place, taking action to put rules and, and regulation in place. Like stop fighting and arguing with these people and stand your ground and put rules and regulations in place. Like, look, this is how it's going to be. If you're going to keep talking to me this way or keep acting this way towards me, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's what you're going to have to do. See, I feel like this is what you didn't do in the past with the seven of wands. You didn't kick ass. I mean, with the King of Wands in reverse, you didn't kick ass. When You, you know what? <laughs> this reminds me of a situation. Um, there's a person I know who's had issues with their, with their siblings, right? And um, this person never really had really serious... Um, they had quarrels with their with their siblings, but they never really got into real heavy fist fights with their siblings. And so one of the other family members said to this person, the reason why you have problems with your sibling is because you didn't whoop their ass when they was a kid. Like, you're the oldest. You should have put that in check when you were a kid. And see, that's what that King of Wands energy in reverse is. is you didn't, you, you know, the King of Wands is the first king who will throw, throw hands when it's time to get down. All right, of all the kings, will throw hands first and ask questions later. So for some of y'all, this is why you know you may still have problems with your siblings up until this day. You didn't throw hands, you didn't bust that ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and let them know the hierarchy of the order. So with the Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords energy in reverse, this is there was a lot of you know you didn't balance the scales. With the Queen of Swords energy in reverse. You, emotionally, you're angry and you're frustrated about this. That's for some of you. Now, if this is in reverse and now, you you know, maybe the tides have turned and you've stopped dealing with these people. Now, these people are feeling a certain way towards you. This is the energy you were dealing with, okay? Tower energy in reverse. Tell me about this. Is this you letting this go or is this you uh, blowing up on these people in the aftermath? What is this? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse again. So... This is you putting your foot down. Um, yeah, and with the tower energy in reverse, this is you avoiding, you know, um, any other, um, like you not standing your ground. Again, I'm just getting an energy because this is you standing your ground upright. This came out in reverse twice for you because you did not stand your ground against them. Or what could have happened is there could have been some favoritism going on and the parents didn't come in and, and stand up for you. Like they allowed the bullshit to go on between you and and the siblings, um, if this is about you and your siblings, North Node and Scorpio. Now, if this is not about you and your siblings, there's just some childish behavior uh, on your part that you are um, going to have to outgrow. Okay? Very um, immature behavior that it's time for you to let it go. You could be feeling some sort of way about some injustice that may have happened to you, but it's time for you to... Um, work on healing this and know that um, with the seven of wands energy in reverse here um, maybe you didn't defend yourself and maybe your childhood wounds were the reasons you were in some of these relationships where you were not treated fairly where you didn't stand your ground right or you dealt with some assholes who were like this this is their energy and so as a result now this is you saying you know what i'm no longer going to be in a position where i don't stand my ground i'm going to put rules in place with that mars and capricorn energy Mars is all about taking action. Mars is a warrior. Wherever Mars is at is ready to throw down, right? And with Capricorn energy, it's all about throwing down with the rules and regulations, putting shit in order. Like, nah, you don't you don't come to my house unannounced. You don't talk to me disrespectful. You call me on the phone. You 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 know what I'm saying? You speak to me respectfully. You curse at me or you know, talk to me any kind of fucking way. I'm gonna hang up on you. You know, like putting putting shit in order, letting people know what they can and can't do, right? And so with the tower energy here in reverse, this is you avoiding, you know, having to be put in a position where you're not going to defend yourself. Like, we're not having that anymore. It's not going down. <laughs> All right? So this is some of the things that you might be presented with um, this month or maybe throughout the rest of the year, especially with the north node in Taurus, south node in Scorpio, uh, Scorpio energy. Wrapping up old cycles, coming out of that toxic energy self-analyzing because the north node in scorpio is a, a self-psychologist 
analyzing, okay, why did this happen? Why am I feeling this way? What is that energy that I have not dealt with yet? Oh, it's because of some childhood shit that went down when I was a kid. All right, I can't keep holding on to this because it's keeping me from being happy and being at peace. So what I need to do is I need to let that go. This, you know what I'm saying? This is what this is for you. That's what I got for you, North Node Scorpio. If you need a personal, reach out. My information is in the box below. I wish you the best. Take care.